Alright guys, getting dragged as a teenager is probably the best thing that you can do because all of your friends are gonna respect you more. Even your teacher or your boss if you're already working are gonna treat you more like a man. And also all of the girls are gonna find you more attractive. Because of that, I'm gonna show you the simple strategy to getting jacked as a teenager. Now, very important to mention at this point, I've said simple, not easy. It isn't easy building this muscle that you want to build, but it is simple. Especially after hearing all of the mistakes I've made as a teenager, you can actually learn from them so that you don't have to make them as well. And then you will end up achieving your dream physique and get getting checked way faster. Now the only thing I hope for in return is maybe a like on this video to give this channel and this video a bit more exposure. Now I right where I want to start with the first step. I've structured this video into four steps. These are the main four things which will help you to build the muscle that you want to build and actually look jacked as a teenager. Now the very first thing is hormonal production and this is probably the trickiest one because as a teenager our hormonal production isn't primed yet. Yet. For example, a 16 year old guy doesn't have the testosterone production as a 21 year old guy because a 21 year old guy will be primed with testosterone. But still, this doesn't mean that you can do certain things which will help you to also optimize your hormonal production and actually set yourself up pretty well for when you're getting older and even now build more muscle. Now the problem is the average teenager is doing most things wrong and doesn't help his body to actually produce the hormones he needs to build muscle and also turn into a man. Because one of the most important things is actually getting all of your vitamins and minerals into your system. And one of them, the most important one, is vitamin D. The thing is, most young guys are on TikTok the whole day and don't leave their room. Maybe they go to school, but after school they go home again, sit on their couch or on their bed and never actually get exposure from the sun and tank vitamin D. But if you're someone who actually wants to look jacked, he needs to optimize testosterone production and because of that also needs enough vitamin D. Now the second thing is also eating good food. I will talk more about your diet later on this video and give you actual ideas for meals which are very good for building muscle. But just keep in mind your diet is also important for hormonal production, not just for feeling well and performing at the gym. Then moving on to the third thing which is very important for your testosterone and overall hormonal production and it is sleep. Here again the average teenager is on his phone the whole day and even during night he sacrifices sleep just to be able to watch more Netflix or keep scrolling through Instagram or TikTok. But if you're someone who wants to again get jacked you can be doing that. You should be the one who is an Instagram posting and TikTok and then at night time actually goes to sleep because on average you should get at least 8 hours of sleep. I know for some people this doesn't sound like much but for others it sounds like much. For example me back in the days on average I've got like 5 or 6 hours because I was the average teenager who was on his phone all day and all night. But if you don't want to make the same mistakes as I did and actually get in better shape faster then you'll have to follow a sleep schedule. So going to bed at the same time every night. This will help you to firstly fall asleep faster and also stay asleep longer. So two things which are very important, which then end up helping you to produce better hormones and actually increase testosterone. Great, then moving on to the second step, which is our diet. Here, most people know that it's very important for building muscle. Again, going back to our hormonal production, we need to be eating good fats because these are actually the base for hormonal production. If you don't eat enough good fats, our body actually doesn't have the building blocks to produce hormones. And the problem is the average teenager isn't eating good fats at all. The only thing he's eating is probably bad fats from fast food and all of those desserts. Now I know it can be very difficult being the guy following a good diet, but I can tell you probably one of the best advices I've got when I was younger is looking for an environment which helps me to be healthy and disciplined. And if you right now maybe have friends who are going to McDonald's or Burger King all the time and don't train, then they probably aren't the right environment for you to grow. 
not only grow as a person, also grow in size. Because this is the main goal if you've clicked on this video. Now, I know it also can be difficult if for example your mother is cooking your meals. She maybe doesn't know about macros or protein and how important they are for muscle growth. Because of that, I also recommend you to actually start learning to cook. This isn't only a skill which will help you to look better without a shirt on and build more muscle. This is also a skill which will help you later in life. It's very attractive for the other gender and it's also very helpful if you want to become an independent man. Now, to make this advice a bit more practical, I'm now gonna give you a few foods which I personally really enjoy eating and which are great for firstly our hormonal production, secondly for our training so they will fuel us very well and thirdly also in a macro context so they all have great macronutrients. Now starting with the first one which are eggs. This is nature's multivitamin. Eggs have so many vitamins and minerals in there. And the good thing about the proteins which are in eggs is that most of it can become muscle tissue. For other protein sources like for example tofu, this isn't the case. With protein for tofu, maybe 12% of it can become muscle. But with eggs, it's about 80 or 90%. Because of that, you should be eating eggs on a regular basis. Then, second one is salmon or just overall fish. The great thing about salmon is that it's high in fats. And as I said at the beginning, good fats are very important for hormonal production. If you don't have enough of it, we won't be able to produce enough hormones. Then for carbs, my go-tos are sweet potatoes and also sometimes some pasta. And no, people out there aren't gonna think, pasta? Isn't this a bad food choice? Well, it depends. If you just eat pasta without any like meat or fish on it, then it isn't very macro friendly. But at the end of the day, pasta is just glucose. And if you want to have a great pump in the gym, your body needs enough glucose. So every now and then you can allow yourself to have some pasta. Great, then moving on to the third thing, which is our training. Now we all know our training is the actual place where we get the stimulus to our muscles to grow in size. But still many people, especially the young guys in there, are doing the wrong things. They just go in there, maybe do a few ab crunches, maybe some bicep curls or some chest flies. They just do whatever they feel like doing and this is a huge problem. They mostly avoid the exercises which are difficult but actually stimulate our body for growth because these are the compound lifts. Compound lifts are exercises which use multiple muscle groups at the same time. So for example the squat, deadlift, bench press and maybe some heavy rows. They use so many muscle groups at the same time and lead to a huge growth stimulus almost on your whole body. And this is what we want. Now also very important to mention at this point, if you're a teenager you shouldn't be focusing on the weight that you're using. Well, you should be focusing on it, but it shouldn't be important how much you use. You'd rather use a bit less weight, but have perfect form. You don't want to injure yourself when you're young. Otherwise, you might not be able to squat ever again in your life. And then, I can promise you, you won't be able to have huge legs. I mean, looking at Tom Platz, he was squatting his whole life. If he wouldn't be able to squat, he wouldn't have the legs he had back in the days. So at the end of the day, for our training, we could simplify everything and just do the compound lifts and this already will give you great results. But maybe you still have a few weak points if you only do the compound lifts. Maybe you're someone who struggles with building his triceps up. Because of that, I think this is the place where isolation exercises are very helpful. So in addition to your compact lifts, just every now and then also implement a few isolation exercises which will help you to balance out your weak points. Because at the end of the day, you will want to have a balanced physique. You don't want to just have overdeveloped muscle groups. This doesn't look aesthetic. Great, then now moving on to the fourth point, the last point, which are the supplements. This is something many teenagers are asking me. They're asking, what supplements should I take? Do I need creatine? Which protein powder are you taking? And this is the reason why I'm talking about this right now. We can overall say, you don't need supplements. Supplements should be an addition to your diet, but your diet should be the main thing which actually gives your body all the nutrients and macros it needs 
to grow in size, produce hormones and all of those things. Now this still doesn't mean that supplements are helpful. I personally for example take a multivitamin because I don't cover all of my vitamins and minerals every day and I just want to make sure that I hit it every day and for this a multivitamin is very helpful. But still I would say most of the supplements aren't needed. I personally don't even recommend you to take creatine as a teenager. You should want to wait with this. I mean when you turn 20, 23 or even older then you could get a boost by taking creatine. But first achieve your potential without creatine and then later on get a boost again. And the same for protein powder. For protein it's even more important you should actually get it from your diet. Your body can absorb it much better and build more muscle with it. Of course if you aren't able to eat your protein intake without a protein powder then definitely take some protein because otherwise you will lose some muscle or just definitely not build any. So at the end of the day, supplements are only for convenience, they aren't needed. And this is something most teenagers are getting wrong. Great, and that's it. Those are the four things which will help you to get jacked as a teenager. Now going back to the beginning of this video. As I said, it isn't an easy process. It is simple. I've tried to simplify it as much as possible for you in this video. I've just talked about the basics, but these basics will give you 80% of the results and it will help you to actually stay consistent with it when it's simple. And this is one of the key factors for actually achieving the physique that you want to achieve, consistency. Now the only thing which is very important at the moment is that you actually start. Maybe start with small steps, don't start with all of those things I've talked about right now from today on. It will be overwhelming and you will quit very fast. So start with small steps, then build up to it and then sooner or later you will be in your dream shape without even knowing it. Now I really hope that you found this video helpful, if yes then please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.